Okay, hola, this is Food Talk TV. Guess what? It's Friday, we're keeping it sketchy. All right, let me see here. And that was fast. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna be waiting for some people to um, join us. If it's blurry at all, turn off the Wi-Fi, okay? So today I'm gonna be making a tuna casserole like old school. And, um, and a King Ranch chicken. Mm. So for all you Tex-Mex food lovers, it's gonna be like Tex-Mex at its best, okay? All right, and I have a surprise. I'm gonna be making Sherry Skinner's apple dumplings. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my peeps to arrive, I'm gonna make myself a drink. So while I'm waiting for my peeps to arrive, I'm gonna make myself a drink. Five. I'm gonna make myself a drink, okay? It's Friday. And so while I'm waiting for my peeps to arrive, I'm going to make myself a drink. Okay, it's Friday and it's just the perfect time. Let's see here. Okay. Let me grab my, my, my ice. Word up, sketchy. Okay. Are we working? Are we on? What's going on? Everything is going there. All right, let's do this. Hi, twin. Well, uh, hello. Well, hola. How are I'm you? Party. I can't see. Hey, you. that's so, Chris. Hey. Can everybody see me? Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. We don't need you in the picture. We got the party right here. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'm only gonna make one drink. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see yeah. anything on my screen here, but I don't know if it's just my screen. Yeah, as long, we, as, we all, can... as long as you can see me, then okay, fine. Yeah, we can see you fine. What are you making? I am starting off with a drink. It's prickly pear. <clears throat> pear. So I have I have this chamoy stuff. What's it called? It's this. It's this um, liquid chili trechas. That's what it's called. And then the the, the spicy powder to rim it. Mm. This is how I'm starting. Okay. Well, I'm getting a little nervous because I can't see any picture on my iPad over here. Well, you only have about 450 people watching you, so. Well, then I don't know if they heard me say that I'm making some old school tuna casserole and like the, the very best Tex-Mex that you've ever heard of, which called which is called a King Ranch Chicken Casserole, okay? So, okay. and I'm starting with a drink and it's, it's going to be prickly pear. Oh, and I'm making Sherry's apple dumplings, okay? So. Yay! Prickly pear vodka. I would say equal parts, but I'll go a third to two thirds. About a third. Drink responsibly to two thirds. Hi, Karen. Prickly pear soda. Okay, and that's what I'm starting with. That's cactus, so right? Sketchy. You know, if I don't finish this, I'll be very sad. Okay. So this is the way to start Friday right here with these dry lines. That's right. Because it's one o'clock someplace. I yeah. thought it was with beaver nuggets and I just did the wrong thing. <laughs> beaver nuggets and, and coffee, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sherry, Sherry, why is that uh, package of Sherry, big beaver nuggets so, so 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 small? Well, Abigail and Maddie came last night. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've had my share. Don't you worry. Okay. All right, <clears throat> Trisha, we're gonna we're gonna have yes. to slow our roll now. Let's, Trisha. Whoa, before you. Yes. Look, all right, before you start chopping up apples, there are eight in each uh, thing, right? 
eight? No. In the, uh, what do you call it? In the each crescent side, rolls. Yes. All right. So you're going to yes, do three side. packages? 20, all right, 24 pieces. So yes, but six I, I'll times. Just take whatever. It doesn't... Don't cut up too many apples. 24, is all but how, how could you make these? Well, I how, usually. What? Quarter, I have too many apples? I, I usually quarter. So it took work? But if they're big apples, I may have quarter. to cut them down. If, if they're big apples, you may have to cut them down. That's okay. Them. I will make all of them. I'll just make them All right. You're going to peel those and I'm get that gunk out. All right. Let's just do this. So, Deanna, beaver right. nuggets are so this, a treat at Bucky's. Do what? This recipe oh. can be found all over the internet. Yes, yes, it can. Why is it you you guys Apple. talk and then you get so quiet? <laughs> well, okay. Tell me what to do now. All right. Well, Where's you're gonna dish? court. All right. I'm gonna wait till you're listening. Hey, Chef. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. All right. You're gonna peel the outside, unless you like that. All right. You know what I'm saying? And and then hold it oh, up and let me look at it. When you get it peeled, that's a little big, but if you can get a hole um, around it, you might just like cut it in half or something. I don't know. Um, but then you just wrap your uh, okay I'll yeah, all the way around it and seal it off, and then put it put it down in your. I would spray the pan. Okay, spray the pan. I got my spray. There. Yes. Man. All right. I I think I think I'm the only person who has never made these. Yes. Well, this are. won't be the last time. Everybody's so quiet. This it's, won't be the last I, time you make it. Party. I promise. You'll make it. I haven't made it yet. Hey, your family will make you make <gasps> these again. Just saying. Great. Hey, you guys, if you're just right. scrolling through, please give us a follow. That's Sketchy Chef on the screen, and please follow her account. Yes. And hey, she's Mo a host Liz. of Grub Max, right. too. And if you're in a old school tuna casserole, like back in the day, uh, when I was growing up in the 1970s, back in the day, and I'm only going to be adding a little twist, and that's going to be that I'm going to add sour cream, which is not on the recipe, nor my mom didn't add it. And I'm making some hardcore Tex-Mex food. It's called the King Ranch Chicken Casserole. So, mm -hmm. mm, it's got delicious. chicken and cheese, chips, you know. You know the drill. That's what I'm making. We know how you roll, yes. <laughs> I'm making the world's best. Apple dumplings that I've never made before, but I people are swearing by these, so <clears throat> they're good. Well, I need to make them too. <laughs> yeah, that's um, the apple dumplings is one of the uh, Sherry Skinner recipes that is a must try. A must yeah, try. we did, didn't we do it in cooking club? Yes, we did. That's why I said most most of us have already done it. Yep. Y'all should never join us. Y'all should join us for cooking club. Well, you know, because you get to cook say, with everybody. Hi, Moses. But if you all don't know what's going to happen next, I'm going to be wrapping these in, in, in crescent rolls dough, and then it's gonna. I'm going to pour Mountain Dew on this. Mm -hmm. And you heard Ooh. right, Mountain Dew. <laughs> so. Oh, can you because do the any first soda? Time I heard it. I was like Mountain Dew, but you know what? Huh? Can you do like like seven okay, up or lemon though. lime? Yes, yes. You can even do it with orange juice, but that's a bit much, you know, or apple juice. It, but it's just a little too sweet that way. You can even do it with a diet soda, but make sure it's a clear one, like seven up Sprite. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Mountain Dew. What the is the oven have to be on for for the dumplings? Cherry three fifty. What is the What does the oven have to be? No, 
I think it said 375, but I would put it on 350 and let it cook a little slower uh, because mine had been getting too brown too quick. So I'm going to drop mine to 350 from now on. All right. Let me just pour two more. Do you think I have enough for my? I keep and, looking uh, at the beaver nuggets and wanting them. <laughs> hey, Bradley, you come visit and he'll take you fly fishing. All right. Fishing, I'm fishing. Okay, Deanna, what the deal is, right. is it mean? makes the juice that cooks everything like the dumpling. It's good. It's good. Yeah, I need space here. Guys, I just want to talk about Grub Match. If your guys are not knowing right, what Grub go. Match is. Oh. Oh, she's going in. Sorry. <laughs> hey, while you while you roll those up, is it okay for Chris to talk to him about Grub Match? All right, Sherry. What do I do? I don't know if she's hearing us. No, she's not. Am I just wrapping these before he starts talking? Yes. And, and if it's too big, cut them in half. <laughs> Okay, but Ethan, oh, help us out. Right. No, listen. You here's the deal. You can stretch that dough as long as it covers the apple. Okay, stretch it. You're not going to hurt it, so just roll it around, wrap it around, pinch it off, and just put it down in there. Yeah, don't be afraid of them. Now, Chris, okay. tell them about Grub Match. Yes, ma'am. Grub Match is the only culinary battle here on TikTok where our very own sketchy chef goes up against a chef who cook, cook every Monday night, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And she's looking for some new challengers to go up against her. So you can, guys can go to grubmatch.tv, submit a short little application video, and you must have at least a 1,000 followers in order to go live and you must have some cooking content on your page. So submit your video today, and we will get back to you. Yes. And she's going to be battling Chef Tim Clowers Monday night. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Chef Tim Clowers. Be there. Chef Tim. Food Talk TV. If you follow us now, you'll save yourself the trouble of trying to remember. What, what was mm-hmm. that? Just Click the notification. Let, and so yeah, well, you know when we go live. All right. Let me see how they're licking. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, where'd she go? They have the I, all the way around. Yeah. Just make sure the apple is sealed. Her family is going to love these. I'm, I'm so excited to see how these come out. They will be delicious. Well, me too. <laughs> delicious. Let's hope they're delicious. Everyone says they are. You know, they are. Everyone's made these, except, except you, Deanna, and, and Chris. Chris. And now it's gonna be Chris only, Chris, because now I'm not in that category. So <laughs> get with it, Chris. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So listen, mental. No, 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 no. Yeah, uh, mental lady. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, um, what you do is you mix up, you melt butter with sugar and cinnamon in the microwave, and you drizzle that over the top and then pour the Mountain Dew. Miss Pinky 71 says she's going to make them tomorrow. You're going to be so glad you did. I work it tight. Gotcha. But what's that, Nana or Nuna? None. None. Okay. I'm not good at this. We've already discovered that because that's why I don't go to the horse races. I can't read those names. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, she's got to be a dandy as, to me as she do a lot of Guys, tap that screen, share the live. Let, let everybody know that Food Talk TV is the place to be when you're looking at some great recipes. We have our very own sketchy chef. Share this live with five people at least, five of your friends, and let them know about Food Talk TV. 
I'm doing it. Right I guess I am. I'm doing right. it too. Oh, there's Dan is already here, so okay. Y'all think I don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Deanna shares uh, shares my okay. life with me while I'm on live. Yes, I've had that happen, <laughs> <laughs> and I love it too. I'm sending it to foodies and friends, friends and yes. foodies. Oh, there's our already fifteen from me. Did you see that they've got a new feature in there where it'll show multiple people, and it just says suggest it. I wondered what that was, but I was afraid it would send it to a bunch of people I didn't want it to go to. Uh, I haven't seen it. I'm going to see it and look at that feature. I have seen it, yes. Yes, you are in the right place. You are. All right, all right. All right, but I got to tell you, hun, you're going to swear I'm, I'm spoiled. Like hey, those are going to have to spoon. Do you know what I mean by that? They're going to have to get close. Have... See, Kaz and I are of oh, that oh, age oh. group. We know what that means. They're going to have to love up on each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You mean they have to be close to each other? No. It, no, no, but you, you've got a lot of apples. To, do... You've got a lot of apples. That's the thing. Well, maybe I won't make them all. I'm going to do just whatever. Oh, no. Your kids are going to eat them. Hey, you're going to have to trust me about Be this. Wise. They butt together. Okay. They butt up together and sit together. They don't get their own seat. Okay. Okay, got it, got it. Got it. Like an airplane. Yes. You can't put your lips <laughs> on the seat next to you, right? They're plane riders yeah. together. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Right. I'm only going to do two more. Is that okay? Huh? What? I'm just going to make two more. That What does this do? Why? And that's because I don't want to roll eight more. <laughs> oh, you don't want to open up. No, no, yes, you do. <laughs> Sketchy. Yes, you do. I'm so done. What? No, you really want to do it. What? You really want to put the rest of them as I big as to. your family is and as much room okay. as you have. That Those are going to float around like uh, driftwood lost in the sea like, or okay. something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for the gift, Leslie. Now, I hope I <laughs> See, now look Maybe at you knowing. Smaller dish. Yeah. Now we're okay. talking. That's how they Seriously. live together. They seem like they go fast rolling them. On the side. What is that? Okay. I'll get closer. So does it have to just be these biscuits or could it be any? That's the question I have. Just curious. Well, have I you don't. You... With different? Well, I use crescent rolls always. Um, but different brands, you know, uh, are not as doughy as others to me. I usually use the, the store brand. Mm. So, What about apples, Sherry? Can you use any kind of apple? Yes, I use Granny Smith a lot, but I also use the sweet, uh, what are they called? Those little, they're pink. Pink ladies? No. I knew you were going to say that. I don't know. <clears throat> but they're really sweet. Uh, sometimes I use those. I can't. I can't. <clears throat> Any apple will do. Hi, Ivy. Hey, Ivy. Miss Pinky, that's Pillsbury. Is that Ivy three six? Oh, yep. That's her. You know, I, I want to say thank you for being here. I always never say that because I just, you know, when I'm cooking, it's different. But thank you for being here, everybody. <laughs> Yes, we yes. all are so glad. Gala, gala, whatever. Gala, gala apples. Gala, that's what I said. Mm. Honey crisp. Any. 
I have Grant. I have Granny Smith. So I, I think I have a Preston Rolls in the refrigerator too. No, Honey Crisp. That's it, Kaz. That's it, Honey Crisp. I love oh, those. They're so good. I wasn't going to say it, but then when I realized you said gal, I, I figured I would let you know that was what you were talking about. Yes, yes, it is. Are you still going to have the extra room sketch? Um, yeah, I still am going to have extra room. Cut up three more apples. She doesn't have because I got my, my <laughs> Yes. This one, this one. What happened? Guess what? It's gonna become a wrap for a for a, for one anyway. Well, hey, what I'm talking about? We don't Thank waste you. up in this house. Thank you, Hel Highland Tells. Yes. Thanks. No, Cosmic Chris. Mm -mm. <clears throat> What do I do next? Let me see. Sherry. Let me see. All right. So do you have the recipe? The <laughs> Let me no, I don't know the recipe. You are the recipe. Okay. <laughs> You're the recipe, Sherry. You are Let the recipe. Get, Let me get my handy dandy cookbook. It's right <laughs> here. I think I can uh, read it off my apron, though. Oh, yeah. You got it on your apron. Apple dumplings, okay. My melted now, butter, how much? Hey, okay. Well, you did all right, two sticks. Two sticks of butter. You're gonna put it in the microwave anyway. So it doesn't have to be okay. I'm gonna put it in the oven anyway, right? Right. See, she's making like triple. Okay, am I microwaving the stick? Not quite. All right, but uh, yeah, put it in the microwave till it gets mostly melted, and then I we're going to add our sugar and cinnamon. A little bit of nutmeg. That's part of the recipe. Right? That, no, it is not. Okay. But now, if you like it, do you? I don't want to see it. Warm me first. <laughs> White sugar, or did you say I could use brown sugar? You can use brown or white. Huh? You can use brown or white sugar. Okay. I, it calls for white sugar, but okay. you can use brown. It's a cup and a half. Okay. All right, listen, I'd use a cup of white and a half cup of brown. Because I've done that before, too. What's everybody laughing about? Uh, is Frank here? Hi, Frank. <laughs> All right, you said a cup of brown and a cup and a half and a half of white. I'll do that. No, a half cup of brown. Whoops, whoop. That's good. That's good. Now, finish that. Put that in there and then put, no, no, you're fine. Now, put that in there. No. Right. Wait, a half cup of brown and one cup of white? And one cup of white, yes. But you're fine. That's fine. Look at her measuring. What's up with her? I know. We're making apple dumplings. I thought recipes using... followed you. <laughs> this is not my... Right. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so she's getting the butter. Uh, do you have do you have cinnamon? My butter is Sophie, we are making apple dumplings. We are making Sherry Skinner's apple dumplings. <laughs> and I'm one of the apple dumpling versions. Okay. I never had it. I'm going to make it. A little bit. No nutmeg. <laughs> You don't have There's pumpkin cinnamon? spice over there if you want to use that. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. I swear. Oh, my phone. Cinnamon. Woo-woo. Because we don't want pumpkin spice on it. Okay, cinnamon. Hey, How cinnamon. Much? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Cinnamon. 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 Yeah, she put cinnamon. 
Just no, no, put some cinnamon in it. Okay, I got the. She's glitching. Is she glitching? I glitching, glitching yeah. More? No, 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 no. Cinnamon. Yes, I you're do. fine. You're I fine. do. Okay, put I put it. plenty, a lot. No, she puts a lot to make up for the nutmeg. No, to forget about the nutmeg. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you may have to put it back in the Does, microwave. I... Hey, Trish, okay. you may have to put it back in the microwave to get it. Yes. You want it to be drizzle consistency. Okay. The, the sugar cool, cools it down. Mm. Probably right. 30, 30 when seconds. When does the Mountain Dew come in? <laughs> After you drizzle that on, then pour the Mountain Dew over it. Okay. okay. Sounds so All right. good. I have the big one too. How much of this am I adding? I think it's twelve ounce. It's a it's a can, a, one okay. of those little bottles or a can. So I think that's twelve ounces. Yeah, it's a cup and a half. It's less than a cup. All right. Oh, yeah, that's wet. Okay. This is drizzleable. Drizzleable. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm pouring this right over. Yeah, just drizzle it over all of them. Okay. Y'all look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Telling just you. this smells so good already. And now you just put 12 ounces over that. Hey, Ashton. Hey, Ashton. It's fizzing. I know. <laughs> this is <laughs> And then right. it goes. Hi. Then it goes. Let much. me see. Into the hey, wait. Is it up at least halfway <clears throat> to them? Yes. Okay. Yes. Put it Yes, down. it is. Yes, go put it in the oven. And then count down about 35 minutes, somebody. Alexa, set a timer for 35 minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for setting my timer, Chris. You're welcome, Cass. Okay, is there a timer? Because my Alexa's not today. Yes. yes. She's, she's literally talking back. Okay, by the time we're Okay, now who's ready for King Ranch chicken? <laughs> Me. I am. Let me get my chicken here. All right. Here we so go. what kind now, of ranch we're dressing? Start with some bell pepper in what kind of ranch dressing are you putting there in there? No, no ranch dressing in King Ranch chicken. Okay. And I actually pulled something from Wikipedia. Which says this is not really affiliated with the King Ranch. It's just a Tex-Mex tradition. But what I used to hear was the King Ranch would serve this to the ranch hands. So, you know, and I lived really close to Kingsville, really near the King Ranch, the King Ranch. So who knows? I don't know. I'm going to cook up some onion and bell pepper. I'm going to start that in the pan because this doesn't take long to bake. And let me turn the bottom oven on too. Karen, try the bottom right, the arrow at the bottom right, and see if that will. It's an arrow, far right. Guys, if you're just tuning in, this is Food Talk TV. We have Sketchy Chef cooking up a King Ranch chicken. Hmm. Tap that bell and notification. Give us a follow and a like. 
and let when, when you do that, you'll know when we go live. All right, I'm just gonna partially cook these because when you bake it, you're basically just trying to melt, you know, melt the cheese. Everything's cooked that you add into this. And guess what? This recipe is already on our website. Oh, it feels so good to say that. Nice. All right. You guys, recipe the website is, is food on our website. It's uh, foodtalktv.com and click on in the kitchen and there yeah. will be a search bar, but it's probably the first, first recipe there. Now my pictures will come later, but the re recipe is up just in case somebody wants to make this for dinner. Hey, and you know, there's 59. a lot of things in this recipe that are entertaining. You could add different cheese. You could omit bell peppers. It calls for Rotel. And I actually don't have that brand, but I have a different brand, which is the same thing, tomato and, and pepper. You know, you could probably just use diced tomatoes if you don't have Rotel. This is a very, you know, versatile, easy recipe to mix around with. Okay. Let's put this in the pan. Hi, Chef Street. I'll do this one too. Hey, Chef. Okay. All right, you can come over here. Or stay there for a minute because I'm going to chop up some. Uh... Tap that screen and share the live, guys. Share it with five of your friends so they can know about us at Food Talk TV. Everybody but Karen. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. <laughs> So she's feeling like eating some water with strings today. <laughs> That's Sherry's favorite veggie. Yes, I do. I am. I am. I'm doing it. All right. So this is going to be for my tuna casserole. So I was talking to because uh, my kids like King. I, I was talking to Sketchy yeah, earlier, and I was telling her that I haven't had uh, tuna casserole since I was a little kid uh, when my mom used to make it. After after I grew up, I still had it, but it was uh, tuna helper, right? <laughs> I haven't had tuna casserole since I'm a kid. So that's yeah. when I had it. I and, like tuna uh, gravy. The thing that I know about tuna casserole really is that um, or that I really remember liking it from when my mom was uh, making it was the crispy egg noodles on top. Okay. You don't get that with tuna helper. No, you don't. Tuna helper is for when you like move out of your mom's house and, and you and you don't know how to cook. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you're super broke because you're 19 and so then you get a tuna helper and and you wish it was your mom's tuna casserole and, and then you remember that you, you didn't appreciate her cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, you know. I feel a video coming on for you, Sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> My oldest daughter actually likes tuna, like couples helpers, hamburger helper, tuna helper, and then she actually she'll she'll eat one, but then she'll try to recreate that tuna helper. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you cannot recreate. Just buy it and eat that. You can't recreate it. <laughs> 
if you like the flavor. And I think she likes it because when she was growing up, I never, ever used those. I did before she was born, but by the time I had kids, I no longer use them. So she thinks it's like the best. We got IBD warrior Danielle in the house. Hi, Danielle. So something I'm going to add to my tuna casserole. Something I'm going to add to my tuna casserole is fresh mushrooms. Sometimes, sometimes um, my mom would use the canned mushrooms. And the recipe that I had put on the website also says canned. So I made a notation, you know, or fresh. Or you don't have to put mushrooms at all. I'm adding a lot because my kids are not going to be eating the tuna casserole, and I love mushrooms. I think on the recipe it says like half a cup or something. But I love, I love mushrooms, too. Here we go. The City Girls Kitchen is in the house. Hey. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Maddie, uh, a City Girls Kitchen has a live on her channel every uh, every Tuesday at 5 o'clock Central Time. TikTok Cowboy. Hey. TikTok. Hey, hola. I already spoke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's the king cowboy now. S Scott yeah. San Miguel is in the house. Awesome. That's my boy. He's the one who requested King Ram's chicken. So. All right. Now. That's pretty much done. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. IBD Warrior doesn't know what Hamburger Helper or Tuna Helper is. They must have it there. They have it <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Be very happy that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I'm willing to risk think about that, okay? I'm willing. Okay, okay, let me spray this pan now. Now, let me let me explain something, okay? So you're supposed to add, when I have made it, I have always layered it with just plain corn tortillas. Okay, it's going to be like a lasagna. Um, I saw a let's say you can add tortillas, you can leave them whole, you can tear them up, or you can add corn chips. Um, I've never used corn chips. Um, feel free to try it out. So what I did was I chopped up these corn tortillas, I sliced them up, and I toasted them before I started today. Some of them are a little crunchy, look, crunchy. So that's what I'm going to add in here, okay? Yay. Into my thing. So we're going to go mm. ahead and put a layer of chips that I toasted before. But you could totally buy store bought chips, you know, or just use the tortillas as they are, whatever you want to do. Okay, now we're going to make our mixture. Right. Jeff Nella's in the house. Hey guys, if you think that, um, uh, that sketchy looks a little blurry. It's because she started off with a cocktail. And she's having <laughs> lots. Y'all, she's having lots of Wi-Fi and internet problems. Yes. Mm -hmm. So thank y'all for staying regardless, okay? We appreciate it, guys. Hi, Nella Bachi and Marty and I. Oh, Ivy's there. I've already said hi, Ivy. And let me see if anybody else is here I haven't spoken to. No, maybe not. That's fuzzy. Okay. I don't know. You know, I've done everything I can. So I'm adding my Rotel style. It's a different brand, but it's just Rotel. See, I thought they called it ranch because you put ranch-style beans. 
<laughs> no, no ranch beans, no ranch dressing. No, it's, it's, I, I believe, look, I have the Wikipedia thing on, on, on our website, but that's what they say because the King Ranch, which is in Kingsville, Texas, used to feed this to their ranch hands. So again, I don't know if that's true. Wikipedia says it's not, but. So the secret ingredient for next week against uh, Chef Dan Clowder is ranch. Ironically. So, ironic, right? Is ranch. Yeah. Yes. So this has creams of something. Cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. Cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. Okay, hand me a spoon right in front of you, Ethan, a cereal spoon. Por favor. So in my bowl, I have I have the bell pepper and onion that I cooked down. I have the Rotel style, you know, tomato. I'm adding the cream of mushroom. Now this, I didn't stick to Campbell's, but when I get to my tuna casserole, I'm sticking to Campbell's because it's the flavor, okay? No. And I need it there. And here, it's just not gonna matter. She's snobby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we like what Thank we like. That's right. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> no, I like what I like. Don't you? Ooh, mm -hmm. matches in the house. Hello, grub match. <laughs> Hola, and grub match. All right. So this is cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. Hey, I have a question. How much cooking do you think that Ethan has learned? Yes. Just watching. Um, Ethan learned to cook when he was very young before this all started, so he knows how to cook. Whoever marries my boys is gonna win the prize. Wow. Hey, and he's handsome. That's just a fact. He's yes, exactly. Okay, wait, now this is supposed to take milk, but I have chicken broth that I um am reserving from or I have left over from when I boiled the chicken. So that's what I'm gonna add into here, only because I think it'll be flavorful. Okay. So. Yeah, that's what I was saying, uh, Deanna. So so is that Ethan needs a thousand followers so that he, he can go up against his mom. Ha. Yeah. Ooh, that, that would be fun. Oh, there you go. You know, I'm going to be completely honest. A couple of my kids cook, and let me tell you, I'm so proud of them because I used to say, this tastes like mine. You know, like when they would make something, wow, this tastes like I made it. But now, actually, they make some things that I think are better. You know, they put their own little spin, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. no. The Righteous Kitchen, I'm going to use that joke, okay? <laughs> A casserole. <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> That's cool. He can use his mom's account. <laughs> All right. And here's right here. See them here. Is that cheddar or a mixed blend? Kobe Jack. Kobe Jack. Colby Jack, one of my favorites. Colby Jack. Ivy, next week's right. uh, competitor is uh, Tim, Chef Tim Clowers. He's got 1.2 million followers. I've been following him since I joined TikTok. He's very popular. All right, here we go. Is there meat in this? Chicken. chicken. I'm going to put the chicken. Dumb written right on my forehead. 
Now, Sketchy, can any, can you do alternatives to this? So back in the day, <laughs> back in another day when I was uh, vegan for like seven years, I did convert this to, um, to to vegan, and I didn't use any cans. I made my own cream of mushroom um, sauce, and then. For the chicken part, I slice up mushrooms, um, or I also have made it with jackfruit. So mm. yes, this is totally doable. Uh, you can make this as a vegan, a vegan version. Okay, now this can be shredded, chunk, chopped. So this was still being shredded while we started here because I didn't have it boiled like I was supposed to on time. Actually, it wasn't me that didn't do it. It was my sous chef, who I won't name. Okay? It wasn't Ethan. <laughs> it wasn't Ethan, though. Okay. I'm going to do more layers. What do I do with that cheese? I feel like I should have got a bigger dish for this, because I'm going to have but. But no, we know her well enough to know she's going to cram it all in that dish. <laughs> yes. And we're, and we're going to say <laughs> it'll never fit. She even said it this time. <laughs> Trisha, it looks delicious. I bet you could use ground beef. I bet you could. Yeah. It Can you use ground beef? So this is called King Ranch Chicken. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think if you made King Ranch ground beef, that would be a story. But actually, you know, you could use cream of celery instead of the cream of chicken in this and cream of mushroom and totally try it with ground beef. I'm sure it would be awesome. Hey, you know, I would call it King. It would work. I'd call it Queen Why Heifer. Not? Queen Heifer. Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a cow. There you go. It's a cow. Yeah. Already for it too. Yes, do the beef. Call it queen pepper, and that's that. Yes, that's <laughs> it. Take a picture and be proud. You can make lots, lots of substitutions there. You could substitute the chicken for ground beef and the cream of everything for a little ricotta and tomato sauce. Um, sub out the chips for some for some noodles. I don't know what you would call that, but I, I'll bet you it would be great. Kaz, do you remember yep. my TikToks <laughs> where I make using the Doritos in the place of where her chips are? It's this very same thing, except, and I make a chicken one and I make a beef one, and it's the very same thing except for the chips. You know what? This was our very second cooking club. I didn't remember it until just now. The second cooking club what we ever was? had. Yes, this uh, this dish. Oh, so you did make it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think that I had. <laughs> until I'm watching it like, I remember this is the second cooking club we ever did. Uh, a hot minute ago. Oh, my God. Okay, let me see this. Let me see the rest of this. I don't want to end it with this one, which I am. Just poke it down in there. Stuff it down in. Just whop. <laughs> whop it. Whop it. Whop it. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff it. Bop it. Whop it. It's going gonna, it's gonna <laughs> to overflow. But you know what? I'm, I'm used to overflow. Yeah, there, there you go. Don't waste it. I'm really good at cleaning them up. Got too much? Don't throw it out. Oh, 10 second cooking school. Got too much? Don't throw it out. Just pile it on there anyway. <laughs> like and follow for more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like and follow for more tips. You got to tell them what to follow for. Like and follow for more tips. There you go. We got to have cheese on it now, y'all. There we go. You guys, if you're just going through, please give us a follow. I think I saw a sexy Tinkerbell coming in here. 
sexy Tinkerbell. So how are the um how are the uh yeah, how are those looking? These are looking but I don't think they're done yet. And they're nice and puffy. Okay. Okay. Now we're doing the same with this tuna. So that uh, King Ranch casserole, how long do you think it'll take to heat all the way through? An hour, two hours? 30 minutes. Uh, only in my hat, so it'll take a minute. I'll turn it up to 400. Oh. oh, it is a big one. We're just trying. Actually, to see it, you could have warmed the sauce in a, in a pan, which I didn't do because I wasn't thinking about that, which I'm not going to do here either. All right. So here is tuna casserole, the way I grew up eating it. What's and in the pan? I think it's just the recipe. <laughs> because my mom wasn't um, adventurous. So it's basically any recipe you can find online. I added sour. I'm going to add sour cream, which is like the only difference. What's in the bowl? What's in the bottom of the bowl? I don't have a spoon. I'm not here from you. I know. What's in the bowl? In the bottom of the I have celery, onion, and mushroom that I kind of halfway cooked so because this is not supposed to bake that long. And I'm adding cream of mushroom to this and sour cream to this. And she's I got sliced, sliced mushrooms in there already too. Yes. And you could totally use canned mushrooms if you like, instead of fresh, if you if that's what you've got. Or you don't have to add them at all. So I like the little twang of the sour cream flavor in here, which is yum. It's mm. almost like a stroganoff, you know. Okay. So what kind of tuna do you use? Do you use the canned tuna or uh, something out of a uh, Ziploc bag or something? Canned tuna? Canned tuna. Can. Albacore or? And, um, this one might be albacore because that's what I like for tuna sandwiches, but any tuna is fine. Whatever tuna you use all the time. Spring water. Or this oil. is just what I already had. I like the kind that has um, dolphins I'm tell you, in Sherry, it. My, mom's had oil. my mom only ever bought tuna in, in oil. So if that's what you've got, drain it. But I, mine's in water, but I mean, any tuna. Any tuna will work. Y'all, please follow Food Talk TV so you can watch Sketchy Chef on Monday night on Grub Match against Chef Tim Clowers. And it's going to be an epic battle using uh, ranch dressing. And guys, if you missed the part of the live here, you can view it on our pages on Facebook and YouTube, Food Talk TV. Yeah, please follow us on uh, on YouTube. We need more followers there. So that we can go live on YouTube. Ooh, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't, you need to check out foodtalktv.com because that's where you get the info on how you, if you want to try to become a Food Talk uh, TV creator or Battle Sketchy Chef, all the info's right there. Plus the recipes that, like this recipe, is it already there? Or it will be. It's already there. It's already there. So if you want to make this, you can just head on over to foodtalktv.com, upper left corner. That's how you spell it, dot com. This recipe is also on the uh, back of the Campbell's um, uh, cream of mushroom can. Oh, that's what you said today. Yeah. Except not the sour cream part. Except for the sour cream. This recipe you can only our website at foodtalktv.com because I added um, my twist. A city girl's kitchen but says that she's gonna. A city girl's kitchen says she's gonna veganize it. You've already veganized it before. Tell us what you did, and didn't like. So with the king ranch chicken, I veganized it, and with tuna casserole, I've also veganized. 
I've used jackfruit and just like a ton more mushrooms. I think once I even used garbanzo beans in place of the tuna to make the tuna casserole. And I made my own cream of mushrooms. So uh, from scratch using like cornstarch or something, I can't remember if it was flour or cornstarch, but um, yes, you can totally veganize this. Totally, totally. And I've used the Tofuri sour cream in it as well, which is a vegan brand of sour cream that's I like a lot. I think you know what's another good. thing too, like Sketchy? Yeah. You know what another thing that tastes like fish? Hearts of palm. I don't know if you have hearts of palm. It tastes like fish. Do you really think so? I've seen that in recipes. I don't get that flavor, but I know it's substituted a lot. So let's see here. And uh, Chef Nella, kind of warm these up a little bit so they wouldn't be Chef bad. Nella Bocci says that she's going to Italianize it. Maybe she's going to use Italian Ooh, Italian okay. uh, tuna. I think she liked your idea with the um, lasagna noodles and spaghetti <laughs> sauce. Did you say? <laughs> we just we just need to. I think it's a good recipe. We need to come up with a name yeah. for it though. Italian tuna. beautifully golden. <clears throat> all right, here we go. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yes, I am. I'm going to put Gouda in there. And I, I like to just mix it all together here because then I know everything's going to be all... I'm going to make it cheesy. This is mine. Do you put uh, breadcrumbs? It's going to take me like two weeks to eat it. Do you put breadcrumbs in your tuna casserole? On top with cheddar. Okay. Sketchy. Uh, yes. It won't go down easy make... if it's not cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That one is cheesy. Mm. Mm. So here's my noodles that I already. Ah. Ooh, crab lobster. That I already. I'm going to go ahead and mix it in here. Earlier. What is that? Egg noodles. Okay. I prepared. It's like mini lasagnas. Because it's what I had. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, I probably have more sauce be. than noodles, but guess what? <laughs> hey, Trisha, would this freeze well? well? Would, would this go well in the freezer? And you know what? I don't know. I honestly don't know. When my kids were young, any casserole I've ever made, I'm, I've never had to freeze one, and I, I really honestly don't know. Mm. But we can Google it. <laughs> hey, I freeze stuff all the time. And we when, can, I, when I want a hearty lunch, I just get it out, thaw it out in the microwave. I mean, I know that I freeze lasagna, all right? Um, I don't see why it wouldn't freeze. It would. It's like you can buy almost anything in a, in a frozen dinner at the freezer, you know, at, sorry, at the store. I don't know why. But... When I worked at the restaurant, we right. would freeze individual pieces of lasagna. So. There we go. That has cheese. Well, this has sour cream. I don't know why it wouldn't. Okay. Hey. Maria and Steve, uh, Maria Garcia and Steve, uh, what's in the sauce is sour cream, uh, cream of um, cream of mushroom soup, and a little milk. Okay, let me tell Chef Nella that those noodles cheese. were already cooked, and and she just broke them up in there. And she didn't, <laughs> yeah, she didn't break them. Raw ones. Yeah, I cooked these before the right mm -hmm. time. Okay, <clears throat> people. What type of cheese? What type of cheese? This sharp, sharp cheddar on top. I put gouda on the inside because it's just creamy. Um, and I'm putting sharp cheddar on top because it's oh my god i can't wait to eat this i know i just love myself right now <laughs> <laughs> and this is gonna make nice and toasty crunchy 
crunchy. And delicious. Guys, please tap the screen, share the live. <laughs> and delicious. Yes. Delicious. Delicious. Mm. Now, check this baby. Sherry, I think these are done. So, where are all my things at? Right here. Come over here. They'll be really dark brown. And if they're really dark, don't worry about it because you want them dark. Is that good? I can't like see that? that. I can't see them that well because the oven light. Yeah, they're what done. They're done. They look beautiful. All right. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I let mine get really brown, but she's had her. How long have she had them in there, guys? Uh, our timer hasn't gone off. Alexa, well, time remaining. Trisha, are you positive those are done? Two minutes, minutes left. Because I cook mine 30 to 40. Am I positive they're done? Because I cook mine at 375 for 30 to 40 minutes. Look at the bottom. Well, lift, lift one up. They with look a, really toasty. On the bottom. Lift one up yeah. with a knife. No, Trish is having uh, Wi-Fi problems. Mari. Should they be harder than that? I they're can't. nice and sticky. Okay. Well, I th maybe they're good. There's water on the bottom. Damn. Or not water. Should, but they, should they still have sticky water? Water? Yes, because it will. Uh, it'll do? Thicken Put up. Up. It'll thicken up as they sit. The stuff on the okay. bottom. Should I put them thicken. back in or leave them out? I think they're done. Yeah, I think so but too. It's not my recipe. It's Sherry's. You could put one in a bowl and try it while it's hot. Do it now. Do it now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Just put your hand in one in there and get one. What? <laughs> Eat a dumpling right now when it's hot? No. Put yeah. your hand in there, grab one of them, put it in your mouth on camera. Do it, Abby said. Do yeah, it. I think, that, I think that's going to be a no. Mm. Gotta get you some. A little bowl. <laughs> yeah, she's going to wish she'd have gotten a honking big bowl here in a minute. Did you, did you notice that that, uh, that 9 by 13 was not filled up, but now it's edge to edge? Mm -hmm. Those suckers grew. They do. They look amazing. All right, she's going to take a bite, and she's going to say, Now I know why you're my best friend. <laughs> Quit fiddling around. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Okay, this is really hot, okay? Yes, with apples. Apple. I, am, I am not going to the pressure, okay? Eat it. <laughs> eat it, eat it. <laughs> My coffee this morning. They're best when they're molten. <laughs> <laughs> molten. Oh my God. Right? Nobody believes me. <laughs> Nella Bachi, she is trying um, uh, apple dump it, dumplings. This is Sherry Skinner's recipe. And it's up on the recipe is at uh, foodtalktv.com. Just type in apple dumpling. All right. If, if nobody that they see today, at least this one must be made by everyone. Yeah, this is one this thing. is not good. This is outstanding. Delicious. I told you. It's really this is one of uh, our mandatory Food Talk this TV is recipes. Well, I'll be making it. It's so it 
Too hot. I don't have ice cream. <laughs> I knew it. No, she went to get ice cream. I knew she was going to get something to put on that. <laughs> There's nothing better than vanilla on top of that. Mm. Mm-hmm. For real. Now I want to make them again. I don't have ice cream, okay? But I have Mars Capone. Even better. <laughs> I have Mars Capone, which is a very lightly sweet cream cheese. And I actually make a fruit French toast and I put this on. So you know what? This is going to be have to be my ice cream for now. Oh my God, this is, this is what you make when you have company and you're trying to impress someone. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Batter a banana nut cake, not banana nut bread. Oh my God. I think I'm going to marry these dumplings. <laughs> Mm. I tried to tell you. Aren't you glad? You, hey, aren't you glad you went ahead and wrapped the rest of them up? Yes, yes, you are. I told you. Stop staring at me. You can't have in your mind. <laughs> oh. oh my God! Those are the, okay. <laughs> mm. I wish I had an oven with a dim toasting and more cheese. Don't hold up and hold up. Hey, 10 second cooking school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing them everywhere. Hey, you guys, if, um, if you guys want to make a 10-second cooking school, you're more than welcome to. And if it's good enough, we'll we'll feature it on the foodtalktv.com website and on our TikTok channel. All you have to do is put a hashtag, 10-second cooking school. It already has over a million, uh, a million views on that hashtag. How about that? How about those apples? <laughs> See what I did How about- there? <laughs> Chef Nella Bocci, she cut up the apples and peeled them and rolled them in um, crescent rolls and put them in the pan and then mixed up butter, sugar, cinnamon, melted it, drizzled it, poured 12 ounces of uh, Mountain Dew and baked it for 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah, and everybody, we realize that the picture is blurry. There's internet problems, but uh, you guys are so loyal. It's, I'm looking at looking at the numbers, and uh, I I love you guys. Y'all are the best. You're awesome, You're guys. Thank you. Okay, just go to the website, Nella, and and type in apple dumpling, and it'll pop up. Okay, so what are we making now? I'm gonna make a really quick dressing for some for some for a little bit of lettuce salad. I've got some arugula, I think. Oh. So what's in there? While we're waiting for the I've got some raspberry, Dijon, olive oil, lemon. I can't find my vinegar, but oh well. What was in the That's jar? It. I'm not gonna add garlic and all that. That was raspberry Dijon. What? what? Okay. okay. Raspberry Dijon. So flavorful. So I go to this grocery store. It's got every flavor Dijon. Okay. Oh, that? Raspberry Dijon. I didn't know that. Me either. I got to check that out. It sounds good. I'm going to get her some pot holders, y'all. She's making me nervous. Mm. <laughs> oh, you my gosh. I have and I don't know where at. You don't think she needs an extra oven, though, do you? Uh, no, probably not. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. This is Mixers. really funny. I'm doing this. Y'all, that's pre-washed right now, but... Right. Yes, it's pre-washed. I swear. 
Nobody said anything, but I, I was, watched just, yeah. I was yeah. warding it off. <laughs> Here we go. I might like arugula. And I would really do all of arugula is peppery. But it's oh, good. I've had it then. I've had it. It is. It has a little bite. All right. There we go. Let's get our stuff out of the oven. It looks like my other one was kind of bubbly. Bradley says, I think we're going to need a bigger bowl. <laughs> You'd think he doesn't even know. <laughs> we lost Kaz. Oh, no. No, he's still there, I think. Oh, he's still. Am I not here? No. Your Where'd voice I go? is. Oh. I think you're good. There you are. Am I here? Yes. No, you're gone. Oh, I'm going to go out then. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't see you at all, Kaz. <laughs> now Chris is gone. I'm here. Hi, Abigail. No, you're not. All right. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's here Abigail. Hi, Abigail. Tuna casserole that I Here's the King Ranch, all bubbly. Mm hmm. Get in close, good. Ethan. And I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have some arugula with it, with my with my Ooh. raspberry Dijon, and for dessert, I'm gonna be eating that whole tray of apple dumplings by myself okay <laughs> okay <laughs> so. hey give ethan one give ethan one hey you want to try it ethan let's try it but he needs mascarpone where's the mascarpone where'd i put it Hey, Miss Pinky, I spot the one that's not a laughing face. <laughs> Homo Pomo Chef. Hey. I, saw your, I saw your 10 second cooking school. It was outstanding. So are you, Jojo. Yeah. Yes, sir. Come on, let me film it. He said, no, I can't film it. Here, taste it. I want to taste it before he. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hot <laughs> don't think it's not hot you better blow on it that's a big piece he's about to burn his mouth off in the name of science <laughs> if it's not on camera it didn't happen <laughs> how is it oh yes he said he said this <laughs> yeah it's really good all right, so this King Ranch chicken recipe, you know, you, you can make it look pretty with some green onions on top or whatever, which I'll probably do for a picture. Um, but it really, this is something you, it's just an easy meal. You know, kids love it. It's full of cheese, full of chicken, really creamy. Okay, and this is already on our website, foodtalktv.com. So <laughs> look at your hand. Now I have all this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah somebody, somebody put a hat. Somebody put a hat on you, <laughs> Jojo. Hey, thanks. Okay, well, okay, guys, that's it for today. Um, you know, don't forget to visit our website. Don't forget to watch Grub Batch Monday, eight PM Central. Don't forget to go to YouTube and subscribe. We're we're looking for subscribers so we can go live there, and you can watch. Mm -hmm. Everything we do on Food Talk there and also Grub Match, and you can vote at grubmatch.tv, okay, for your choice of winner for Grub Match. And that's it for me, guys. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. 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 Bye.